Hi there everyone, well it's been a long time since I've been in this hasn't it? In fact, I believe my last video on Star Trek Online was done in April 2020. And funnily enough, I still have that tier 6 ship available. But after releasing my first video in my last series, I decided to have a look on the advice of a couple of people in my uh, a couple of my subscribers and thank you for the idea and I thought I'd check in on the old account you know see if I had a slight over exaggeration on dilithium ore or whether I had uh, just some money available to spend or whatever and just see what I could uh, still do so I've been playing for the past few days and this is just mainly just an update for you um, I've basically just been going in and out of the game, just playing it as I normally would, and I feel like, yeah, it's still decent fun. I've actually got an aim in the game now. My aim is to try and bring the tier 6 Vesta that you see on the screen at the moment. I'm trying to bring that up to current day spec. Now, that's going to be a little bit difficult because by bringing up to current day specs, one of the first things that I probably have to do is buy about, I don't know, five or six um, sea store ships in order for the ship mastery traits or the relevant clicky consoles. So, yeah, I, this is going to be a long term, uh, a long term thing, I think. So... I will probably be making a few more Star Trek Online videos in the future just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. In the spirit of keeping everything above board, the uh, lesser known spreadsheet is back because obviously when um, I did my energy credits challenge, I think it was almost six years ago now I did the energy credit challenge, well there's an awful lot that's changed since then. Um, it has been a very turbulent time, and a lot of the stuff that's uh, a lot of the stuff that worked back then does not work anymore. In fact, uh, you know, R and D uh, materials are nearly worthless now. Um, I think the radiogenic. I watched it the other day, and radiogenic particles, which used to go for. 80k, 90k, sometimes even 100k a pop, are now about 4,000 if you're lucky. Um, so the galaxy has changed, so now you do get a bit more money about money from it, but it is somehow even more tedious. And of course, the thing that didn't exist in 2015, in fact, two things that didn't exist back in 2015, were endeavours and admiralty. So obviously there's been an awful lot of changes on those sides. So obviously I think that those can be somewhat updated. And um, I think I can keep you guys up to date with what I've been doing. So, you know, including things like, you know, how I make money in the game, how I, you know, grind a lith. And I'm not someone who plays on 50 different alts. And I know that's probably the best way to make things in the game but at the end of the day I have enough I have enough work with uh, I have enough boring work to do because I have a job thank you very much I don't really need any more I don't need to turn my hobby time into something that bores the living hell out of me so if I can you know I will just try and get by playing as I normally would uh, I have three three tunes in total and to be honest my fed is probably the one that I log on onto uh, the systems with the most so you know I'm going to just uh, continue to do that um, so just thinking if there's anything else on that side so yeah I, I'm basically gonna go through the game and see if I can just get to endgame while playing the game somewhat reasonably yeah you know, obviously I could drop two hundred dollars into the game and have everything from the end game i've got the tier six i could get the Vern science ship because that's a tier, that's probably the tier ship six ship you want um so i could get that already because i have the tier six from the infinity lock box um i could spend i could drop a hundred dollars on a few sea store ships and uh 
yeah, it could, you know, so I could have an endgame variant. But to be honest, and I'm not saying I want to do this fully free to play either, because there is, I think, a complete happy medium in order, and you know, to be uh, completely open, uh, the first thing I did after coming back was purchase a set of master keys just so I could put 100 million energy credits in my bank account. I think they ended up selling for about nine and a half million each. So, yeah, so that's why I've got 100, uh, 114 million ed energy credits. And uh, I actually had about 154 because I think that when I first logged back in, I had about 50 odd million. And what I did was I used 40 million just to buy some of the traits that I've needed. So I'm pretty much up to date with where I need to be on traits. Uh, I think there might be one or two that I'm missing from a science ship, but basically the ones that I'm using are conservation of energy, con uh, context is for kings, duelist fervor, fleet coordinator, inspirational leader, terran targeting systems, adaptive offense, anchored, and particle manipulator. So um, basically pretty standard for a uh, exotic boat build and yeah there probably are a couple of others that I might switch in and out of but that gets me to a decent enough position the one thing I am gonna have to do is grind endeavors quite hard because I just haven't been around I haven't played the game much while endeavors have been around and they're gonna make a huge difference to how uh, how well my ship performs but just looking at what I've been able to do on a free-to-play basis without even trying that hard. Um, first day, logging everything, I've mined 24,000 dilithium and I've made about 2.5 million energy credits just in the first day. And that's without any sort of optimization. I'm actually not even doing anything in R&D at the moment because if you look, um, I've had these Omega um, techs hanging around for absolutely ages because my original idea was to use them as a sort of bankroll when you could sell them on the exchange however when I came back to the game I found that they were now bound to your account and you can't sell them on the exchange so I'm going through the slow and arduous process of turning them all into particle tech upgrades and uh, using that to upgrade my gear to mark 15 and hopefully get a few towards epic so just to give you guys an idea of how I'm going towards the end game, uh, I will link in the chat below sort of the ideas of where I'm going. It's from the DPS league, but that's the idea of where I'm going. I've already got most of, I've already got pretty much all the bridge officer skills. Um, I've also got the, uh, I've got pretty much all the traits, but the difficulty now is going to be getting the duty officers. I had a look at those. And if you want the Borg duty officers, you're looking at about 300 million energy credits each for them. And there are three of them, I think, that you might need for this build. Um, there's also a couple of, I think there's three or four really necessary starship traits. The most obvious one being spore-infused anomalies. Uh, that's going to require me buying a, tier six, a few tier six ships. Um... So I'm going to have to be very reasonable with this and space it out. But I think that might actually, um, it might actually, how can I put this? It might uh, serve as a sort of ongoing series kind of thing for me on the channel. Obviously, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing with the Sherlock Holmes and anything else. But this might just be nice just to check in with it every now and then, see what's going on. Uh, see how I'm learning as well. Uh, one thing I do intend to go over is uh, how to do decent keybinds because at the moment I don't have any keybinds set up and it's absolutely driving me insane uh, because it's a um, because going around clicking on things is really annoying. Um, so ideally, what I'm going to do is set up my uh, exotic uh, anomalies on one on one key or a couple of other keys and just get it get like photonic officer and emergency to auxiliary on one key because I want them up pretty much permanently these four I want pretty much up pretty much permanently so I'll probably just bind them to one key and I'll just show a few things how to do that and I'll also keep you up to date on how much in the way of uh, energy credits is going left right and center because I think that could be funny to track it all and it'll also let you see how utterly busted Admiralty is in terms of getting all your 
materials seriously that's the one thing on this game you need to be doing if you're not doing already you really need to be absolutely abusing the admiralty system um i have got today just today admiralty has been responsible for pretty much the highest amount of energy credits and dilithium and you know you don't have to do anything with it really and to be honest, my roster's not even that deep. I think I have about ten tier six ships to go along with all the uh, to go along with all the epic um, ships. So I don't even have a deep roster for Admiralty, and um, I'm able to grind it out really well. So we might revisit Admiralty as well. So just a quick update video, guys. Um, I might drop into a. Uh, no, I was thinking of dropping into a patrol or something like that, but that's not really the point of this video. We're really just having a uh, relax with Boomer chat at this point. So, if that's going to be something you guys are interested in and you want to uh, end up uh, seeing it, or if you've got any requests, uh, please do drop me a comment and uh, like the video. And, yep, I hope to see you guys on in game and. If not, I hope to uh, see you on the channel. So thanks very much for watching, guys. The next Sherlock Holmes video should be out, I believe, Tuesday or Wednesday. So look out for that. I have also fixed the sound, as you might hear from this video. So all guns blazing. And hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll come up with some stuff that you guys will enjoy. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.